say smoke meat every day today's gonna be something another super simple recipe super simple technique if you would um, we'll be cooking on the assassin just because I, uh, I already got some pork going on from overnight so I, what I got here are some super simple beef ribs from Costco um, tend to find these at the Costco uh, what they call the warehouse and um, or business Costco's like they, they like to say um, call these uh, center cut beef ribs um, you can see they got a pretty good amount of meat on them you know super simple recipe I'm not gonna peel the membrane because when I cook these uh, when I cook these ribs I cook them to pretty tender so the only thing I'm really gonna do is get this a uh, little bit of uh, I forget what they call that part of the it's like a see new or something like that I don't know we're just gonna get a little bit of that off they're already plenty wet um, they have good moisture already seasoning it's my brisket seasoning salt pepper 50 50 sorry salt pepper 40 pepper uh, 50 40% salt. Sorry, I'm just talking too much, too fast. Just gonna score them. Seasoning super simple. 40% salt. About 60% pepper. And then I added a little kick to it. I found this stuff on Amazon called the Lawry Season Pepper. And I said, hey, I'm going to add about a little bit of that to the mix too. So I got some Lawry Season Pepper. I got some nice kosher salt. Just going to come over the top. very simple very simple right there they got a nice coarseness to them I like it okay we're gonna put them in here I'm gonna run them at a uh, about 275 to 300. Right now I just have some charcoal in there because I've got the butts wrapped. So we're going to add a little bit of smoke wood to the seat to the scene you 
just open up the firebox. The ash, this is where the ash, everything catches. And we're just gonna put a nice big chunk of, ooh, nice big chunk of uh, oak in there. And that's where that is gonna smoke from. Okay, here we go. It's been about an hour and a half or so. Voila, pretty good looking bark. Um, just going to start doing a little bit of spritzing, not much. This is just some good old apple cider vinegar. And we're going to let it continue to do its thing. Alright, so um, now we're going to work on getting tenderness done here. Um, I brought up the temps a little bit to 300. Really see nice, good pullback. Bark is set. So, just a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And we're just going to wrap these. It don't really matter if you do these meat side up or meat side down. Just want to make sure you get a good wrap. So I use a uh, heavy foil and um, I use uh, two pieces of heavy duty pieces of heavy duty foil. Another one. See that? Nice and it's got nice bark on it. Yeah, we just want these to get tender now. I got no sugar in this. I'm running at 300, so I'm not afraid of anything burning. As far as that's concerned, we should be good to go. I'm gonna give these about 45 minutes to an hour to just tenderize and just get really tender and nice. Um, anyhow, this is Dino Dan smoking. Simple beef back ribs. Smoke meat every day. So basically what I did was I let them cook in the foil for about, ooh, they're warm. I let them cook in the foil for about an hour at another 300 degrees and then um, I took them out of the cooker and I just uh, set them to, to cool down. If, uh, if I didn't have the membrane attached, these would just fall apart. So, word to the wise on the membrane. So, you could clearly see there, hopefully, hold on, there we go. So you could clearly see that smoke ring looks wonderful. Still got some juice. I'm going to take a taste. Um, sorry, I'm just playing around with the camera there. And that extra little pepper from that Lowry's seasoned pepper gives it a nice little kick. Very good looking rack. So, 
you guys take care. Go ahead and try this at home. Um, and see if you can't give yourself a little boost right there. It's really good. Hmm. Okay, we're just going to do a little wrap up of the cook. So first I took these ribs and I just cleaned them up a little bit. Nothing uh, too fancy. Just took off a little bit of extra fat or membrane. Um, I scored the uh, membrane on the back uh, just across, okay? And then uh, they were pretty uh, wet still, so I just sprinkled them with some brisket rub that I make, which is 40% uh, salt and 60% ground pepper, coarse ground pepper. And then I added a Lawry seasoning, uh, Lawry's pepper seasoned pepper to that, okay? I put it in the assassin pit, gravity fed at 275 for approximately two hours, and I spritzed it about every 45 minutes with some apple cider vinegar. Um, about, 40, um, about two and a half hours, three hours later, I wrapped them in aluminum foil, and I just, again, spritzed it really quick with some apple cider vinegar cooked them after that at 300 degrees uh, for approximately 45 minutes to an hour and then let them cool down. So that's the basic wrap up of the cook. These are beef back ribs, unlike the beef ribs everybody sees that are really nice and thick and, and you cook more like a brisket. These are the beef back ribs which come right underneath the ribeye. Um, so, a lot of times they're scarce for meat. I find the, the ones at Business Costco have a decent amount of meat on them. So you can also get your butcher to uh, cut you some fresh ones. And a lot of times you can ask them, hey, can you leave a little bit more meat on? So they don't mind doing that. Anyhow, thanks. God bless. This is Dino Dan Smoking. Peace. Thank you for watching another episode of Dino Dan Smoking. Simple smoking. Um, that you can do at your house. If you would like to see me do something, go ahead and leave that in the comments. I would love to see what maybe you guys would have me cook. Um, and that, like I always say, smoke meat every day. This is Dino Dan. Catch you guys on the flip side. Sitting in a big armchair, one arm round my whiskey barrel, the other.